There is blood that is dripped throughout the area. The savage killing unfolding at a mosque in Sanford. The suspect, who says he's the descendant of Julius Caesar, was tracked down and shot by deputies more than 100 miles away. Hey! Don't do that! Get on the ground! <laughs> New information obtained by Fox 35 gives insight into the mind of the accused killer. And tonight, the mosque worker who was killed is being called a hero. He saved uh, children's lives. The murder at the mosque is tonight's big story. A maintenance worker brutally beaten to death. Deputies believe this killing was random. Fox 35's Danielle Lama joins us live at that mosque tonight. So, Danielle, investigators still combing through the crime scene there. That's right, John. Investigators have been here for more than 24 hours at this point. You can see that the road behind me is still closed. Investigators say they believe the suspect climbed over a fence, used a propane tank to throw into a window to break into the center. The victim then confronting the man when he got into work. He was the heart and soul of this uh, uh, of this uh, of this mosque, and we're, we're going to miss him. Investigators say a possibly deranged man killed an employee at the Husseini Islamic Center in Sanford as he came into work this morning. The sheriff says they believe the 59-year-old facilities manager was murdered with a shovel. The suspect, identified as 38-year-old Ahmed Raslan, then taking off in the victim's van. A post dating back 20 hours ago, and another post uh, made just 12 hours ago by our suspect in this case indicated that that he had planned uh, to come to this location. Deputies combing through Roslan's social media, finding posts that list the mosque's address as his house, along with bizarre ramblings and even referring to himself as the Caesar. Come on, yep. Officials say the stolen van was spotted in Indian River County. The sheriff there says Rasan ignored deputies' commands and even pointed his fingers at them like a gun. He was still acting crazy and he dove back into the vehicle at that point. And uh, that's when our folks uh, opened fire. Raslan was taken to the hospital after being shot. Back in Sanford, officials say the mosque employee may have saved the lives of children by taking on the suspect after walking in the building. He's always said that I will protect this place with my life, and I think he did. So we're very grateful. Officials have not yet released the name of the victim. They say they're still trying to get in touch with some of his family members abroad. As for the suspect, they say they're trying to figure out if he has any ties to this area. At last check, he was hospitalized after being shot three times. Reporting live in Seminole County, Danielle Lama, Fox 35 News.